All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Irish Shaders for Minecraft 1.21.7. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you've downloaded, run, and played inside of the latest 1.21.7 world. And then once you've done that, we're going to head over to irishshaders.dev, and we're going to download the installer for Irish Shaders. Now, normally to get this to run, you would need iris shaders, fabric, and sodium to get all this stuff to run together nicely. But in these days, you can install all of those at the same time with one click using just the iris shaders installer. So to do this, we just hit download now. We're going to download the universal jar because that's the easiest way to do that. It'll run on anything that runs Java. And then we're just going to install this in a folder I've named Minecraft 1.21.7. And then we're going to open that folder where it was saved at, and we're going to double click the Iris installer. If this doesn't work and like Windows is like, I don't know what to do with this file, that means it doesn't know that you have to open a jar file using Java. So right click, open with Java. And if you don't see Java, you can find my guide on how to fix Java not working properly on your computer and run the program called Jarfix. You can also Google that. So double click that. It should run with Java. It should open up immediately and you want to select the most recent version of the game. In this case, it's 1.21.7. I guess they stopped supporting 1.21.6, which is really weird, but whatever. Um, so what I want to do is I want this to install both Iris and Fabric together at the same time, and that will also include installing Sodium, even though it doesn't say that. Uh, from here, you want to let it install to the default Minecraft directory, unless you know that you personally changed where Minecraft stuff is saved, which is usually unlikely, but you might be a fancy person. If so, click on this. And then it'll allow you to tell uh, the Iris installer where you've got it installed. Otherwise, just leave it default and then hit install. And then boom, it should be good to go. Um, I've got other stuff in my mod folder, but it needs to be replaced anyway. So I'm going to let it go ahead and overwrite that. And I'm going to hit exit here in the upper cor or right corner. So that's it installed. There is one other thing we need to do, though. So over here, let me restart my launcher. So there is one last thing we need to do when we restart our launcher. We're going to go to installations, and here we see Fabric Loader 1.21.7. And then I'm going to oh, go ahead and open this folder. And then inside of here, we should have our Shader Packs folder. And this is where we're going to copy and paste in all of our shaders, because by default, this doesn't come with any. So to get shaders, you actually have to download these on the web. I've downloaded a couple off of minecraftshader.com. You can just Google Minecraft shaders and just find the ones you like. The preview picture is basically what you're going to get when you download it. Download a couple of them. Uh, in this case, I have some that I've downloaded already in my Minecraft folder. Here in my shaders folder, I've got complimentary unbound shaders. The Seuss shaders renewed, and I'm going to just leave the Bliss shaders alone because those should be compatible with this version of Minecraft, even though I have those in there from 1.21.6. And then once you've got those put in there, you should be good to go. If you don't have a folder in your Minecraft folder, then you're going to have to just make a brand new folder that's empty and just call it Shader Packs. It doesn't have to be special. You just have to have the name shader packs in lowercase and then just dump your shaders in there and you should be good to go. You can also do this while Minecraft is already open and it'll load them automatically. After that, you can go find your fabric loader version here and just hit play. It'll tell you, oh, this is a modded version of Minecraft. It could be crazy. Just say, I understand. It's fine. And then press play. All right, once you've booted up your Minecraft and jumped into a world, either multiplayer or single player, you should be able to hit escape and go to your options. 
and then go into video settings. And this is going to change how your video settings look. This is what sodium looks like when you've got it installed on my, in Minecraft. And in the upper like right corner here is a button that says shader packs. You can go ahead and click on that and all of the packs that you loaded into that shader packs folder in your dot Minecraft folder should show up and you can select from any of the ones available here. I'm going to try the Seuss renewed because that's the one that I haven't messed around with before. And then after it loads, you should have fancy shaders that you can enjoy while you play Minecraft. And then that's pretty much it. That's how you install Iris shaders and making sure that it's got fabric installed along with sodium and you should be good to go. I will add a little note here at the end of the video for those people who want to go and add their own mods. Sometimes when you have Iris install everything all at once, it causes some mods to not function properly. So the way to fix that is to install fabric on your own using my other fabric installation tutorial. And then you can go ahead and install Iris and sodium only. So yeah, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you install the Irish shaders. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.